Hello everyone, today we'll be talking about how you can customize the webpack build using Metronic 8. So first, we need to again purchase an update or get the latest version of Metronic. To do that, you can come to our website, keenteams.com slash Metronic and click on this button here. Or you can just go to our Team Forest page directly. Uh, the link to that page will be in the description below. So. If you need a direct link, that's the link. And what you can do is you can just purchase a Metronic 8 or get the latest version from here for free. Now, once you've done that, you can just unzip the package and look, it will look something like this. And in here, we have five main folders. We have our design folder, which we keep all of our designs for Metronic 8. And we have four different versions for Metronic. We have the base HTML, and then we have the PHP Laravel, a React and a view. However, for in this video, we'll be talk mainly talking about the HTML version, which is the base HTML version. So let's go ahead and go into that HTML and go to our themes and go into our dev1 and open the disk folder and open the index on our browser. So here we have Metronic running through the static index.html. Basically, this is a base HTML file. And what you want to do here is actually we want to go to the documentation so click on this and in our documentation you can find all of our different ways of building it or how you can use Metronic assets or Metronic components or forms and so on however in this video we're talking about about our webpack build so go to our build go to webpack and then we have steps here that you can just follow so just to follow the, the steps one two three and so on to a point where you can actually have your webpack built running on your local host environment. I've already done all of this. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to run um, the local host environment. So open up the folder, this folder right here. Yeah, your ID of choice. What we're using is Visual Studio Code. So once you're in here, open up your terminal. And what we need to do is we need to navigate to our tools folder right here. So let's go ahead and do that. So CD HTML theme and tools and then what you want to do is come here and then copy this to run our local host environment copy that paste that that's right as if you view our previous video on how you can get started uh, with Metronic 8 using webpack you need to actually turn off or remove the module from the package so go to our package.json and then remove the module and save that. Now, if you have not seen our getting started video, I highly suggest that you watch that. We will, I'll put the link to that video in the description, so check that out first. All right, so once that's saved, let's go ahead and try running our local host environment again. All right, it's done. Uh, now we need to just click on this to open up our local host. So here we have Metronic 8 running on localhost using the Webpack build. So this is done and now in this video we'll be discussing on how we can actually customize our webpack build. Now to find our webpack configurations you can just go to here within our, our main HTML folder. Within the tools we have a webpack config right here and in this file we will have all the configurations that is required to build Metronic 8 using webpack. However some of our customers have mentioned that our assets or our bundle files are usually very large and or very bloated for their project. The reason for that is because Metronic 8 essentially is a demo and therefore we will have a huge range of plugins or third-party assets that we include into our main package so that we can showcase the flexibility and the accessibility of Metronic 8. So, um, however, for your project, you may not need all of the plugins. So one way you can do that is if you open the webpack folder right here, we have a few options here, a few JS files here. The first will be the script demo one. Now in here is where we keep all of our main plugins, the functionals, the functions, or the modules that's required for Metronic 8 to run. However, if your project does not require some parts of it, you can actually just remove it. For example, if you do not need a search like so, 
say in your project you don't need a search functionality you can actually just remove this now this is for the main search however we also have a layout search basically a search bar in within the header or some or within the the aside or some, something like that you can actually just go ahead and delete this like so so this is basically Metronic 8's main plugins list and each of our demo we have its own list so if you look at demo 2 it's similar so let's see if we have any here here so demo 6 to demo 7 we have a side for demo 6 but for demo 7 we do not have an aside because of demo 7 let's have a look at what demo 7 looks like demo 7 is like this we don't really have an aside menu now this is an aside it, it looks like an aside menu but it's probably not functioning as one however demo 6 has an aside menu right here all right so each demo has its own main functions that is being included and we also have a list of plugins so we have custom plugins listed here so we have our ck editor our cropper plot charts um, kanban boards and so on now if your project does not require any one of this project uh, any one of these plugins you can just click on this and just delete it just like right click and just click delete and that's it and the moment the next time when you run your next webpack build it will not include these plugins in your project now one thing that i forgot to mention in the configuration in the webpack config is we have you need, uh, you need to take note of these paths here so for example this is defining the root path of falsa so just stating this this direct whole directory name and we are defining where the source files are which is under go here you go to any demo and then here within the source so this is the source folder that's listed here and everything in here is considered the core source path and if you scroll down a little bit and then next we need to take note is the demo paths or rather the destination paths that we are going to define so we have a demo path defined here which is basically the root path which is declared up here and then um, defining the demo so if there's a demo for example we do a when we build a webpack when we run a webpack build we do a, a flag dash dash demo one or demo two or something like that so when that happens we're just defining that and then if there's a demo we're just adding the demo name next to it so in this case for it, for this example let's say the demo is demo one so we'll be talking about this folder here and then the destination path will be this demo path in the this folder and then the assets destination path will be the this path slash assets so if you open this the assets is right here so if you have a project um, in a separate folder because usually when we recommend or when we talk to our customers on how to use Metronic the best way possible is to use Metronic as a companion app rather than your actual project folder so you have your own project folder on outside of Metronic like in a, uh, in a different folder and then you have Metronic sitting like close to where your project file is located and what you do is you create all the, your, your project files um, within your project folder and then you will browse Metronic's assets like the demos and say you want a certain widget or you want a certain like functionality or a certain table or so on once you you browse Metronic's demo and then you see something that you want then you you look for the files within the source here and then you copy it over to your project and then once you've done that you want to also publish or deploy the assets in the sense that you want to deploy the CSS and the JS files to your project you can actually update this path here so that every time when you run an npm run build with a demo 1 demo 2 it will then deploy the assets folder into your project folder directly um, we will talk more about this in more in depth when we discuss on how you can create your very first project using metronic 8 so watch out for that all right so going back to our webpack plugins as we mentioned that if you need to remove any for plugins you can just remove from here now these are larger pl uh, plugins plugins that are considered pretty large that they are sitting by itself so another way for us that to to declare plugins for metronic 8 is within this plugins.js file so we have our mandatory plugins right here 
which is you have jquery bootstrap popper and so on and then we also have optional plugins so these are another bunch of plugins that we use quite often and all these plugins are being bundled up into a single file called so what do i mean by plugins bundle so if we look into our config again let's just keep this file open and keep this file open as well so if you scroll down to here so we are basically grabbing all the scripts from here it's not this one this is basically pointing to this this files here so you can see the scripts and then we have the demo name and the .js so it's basically this this files here so these plugins from here are being bundled here basically so you can see we have custom and then we have all the in js files that we are basically getting all the js files and then bundling it together and then we have one more thing here which then bundles the plugins from our plugins.js and putting it into a plugins bundle we also have a plugins.sas right here that does the same thing but for sas files so if you want to remove certain things from the plugins bundle you can just go ahead and just like highlight any one of the plugins that you want and just delete like so and then when you run your next webpack build it would not include say flat picker so that's that and all right so i think that's it for this video hope you found this video informative if you did please give us a like please also subscribe to our youtube channel so that and turn on the notification bell so that the next time we release a video which is going to be a really interesting video it you get an update and please follow us on our social medias links will be in the description below and i'll see you guys in the next video take care